Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a little tutorial for you here. Got a request, so people want to know that are using grid modeler and overall, how do you cut a bullion and have something that's got very nice geometry and it's a good cut? Well, you can do that absolutely free inside of Blender. And so this is more of another option, but it is also a solution. So go up to Edit, Preferences, type in Carver, check that on, make sure it's saved. Take up a nice front view, otherwise you're going to cut a sideways bullion. Then select whatever object you have, Control shift x and you've got this neat little menu. It gets a lot more complex, you've got a help on the side, so we're not going to mess with that for just yet. And Spacebar will change from Rectangle, Line, and Circle. So if I come here... I can still move this around freely with the middle mouse button, but I'm going to take up that front view. So if I just go ahead and go to cut, I can change the subdivision level with W or X respectively, and I can increase that. So I'll put it to 60 and then just left click. Now it cut all the way through and it did that because I have cursor depth off and I have apply operation on. What happens if I don't though? If I turn off that, take my front view back up and go to cut another circle. Well, now I've got my bull tool here, right? So you got a couple options. You could come in here and grab the bull tool and jump into edge select and add a bunch of loop cuts or whatever matches your geometry. And then if I kind of hide that and let's apply the bullions and come back, you can see it's all nice and cut in there for me. And if I come over here, I can add that geometry, but it is sometimes limited. The more cuts you do in one thing, you're going to end up with some blocked up points. Now, back to it, Control shift x Now, if you hit H for help, you'll see Profile Brush. This is where it starts getting really fun. Hit B. And what's going to happen is you're going to have something pop up, which is a profile brush. So turn it to the side because snapping is on, so you really can't screw it up. Hit S to scale it up and or down. Now you can switch through these in a couple of different ways. Okay, so if you want a different profile, hit X or W, right? And it'll switch between them and you can choose a bunch of different bullion types. I think I'll stick with this one. This looks good. Now, if you want this to be one single bullion, all fine and good, hit D for your depth and you can apply the depth and then hit the space bar. And boom, it's that easy, right? So now hit the right arrow and now hit the up arrow and you can scale that down a little bit if you want and hit spacebar. And I'll show you one more thing about the profile brush and I'll just add a few extra pieces here or a bunch of extra pieces. If you hold down control and left mouse, you'll see that you get the incremental angles that are snapping, okay? And if you let go of control and then just hold left mouse, you'll see that you get it free, uh, free rotation, which is pretty useful. Both are very useful. And then, of course, to say I just really like this angle, then I can just hit space bar and I've got my bullion. And boom, now you've got another bullion. So if you want this to go all the way through, just grab your depth and you'll have to be somewhere in the 3D viewport. So you might want to take a zoomed out view and then increase that depth so you can see what is actually going on and then hit space bar. And now you've got this nice bullion cut straight through. All right, so from here, I could just go ahead and shade this smooth and turn on auto smooth to make that look a little bit better. Now, if you want to do some more advanced things with this, it you can see it's cutting uh, bullions that look really good. Let's check with a matte cap though. And let's see how does said shading look? Well, I don't really see any problems or stretching there. This one's a little stretchy, but it's okay. You can always fix all that. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's cutting some pretty nice bullion. So it doesn't look too bad at all. All right, so taking back the front view, Control-Shift-X, 
Now you can switch between the rectangle, the line, all these different things. You could draw a line in just like Grid Modeler, okay? What you have to do is just cut in any little shape, any size you want. You don't have to complete it and just hit your space bar. And you can respectively keep cutting those. Choose the rectangle here and just chop that off on the corner. So there's a lot of options. Now for the cursor depth, and if you know if you're not using the profile curve you can bring the cursor like probably right about here be about a normal boolean all right so i want to do the cursor depth so i've got the cursor somewhere over here i'll take up the front view i'll make sure cursor depth is on by pressing d and i'll just cut in a basic boolean and you can see it cut that depth so a lot to explore guys have fun with it and this should add not only the ability to add a massive amount of detail very quickly it's absolutely free and if you want you can still throw in grid modeler and do anything it works with coplanar faces any face it really doesn't matter so if i just want to like increase my grid here and get all wild and stuff and let's see i could just draw this out doesn't matter, just any which way. And then what I could do is bevel that ever so slightly and then create a face. And then just, you know, extrude that face and add that extra geometry. Oh yeah, one extra thing here. If you did not know it, uh, let's see. You can control shift X and we can press C, and C will allow you to create the rectangle, the line, and or the circle. So if I wanted to create that circle this way, then I can do that. And that may make more sense, and you know, it doesn't seem like it has the separate, yeah, okay, good, it's separate. And then from here, you know, if you wanted to actually use that to create a deeper boolean, you could do that and then shade the bad boy smooth and auto smooth it you know add all your loop cuts in do all that fun stuff anyways i hope that helps have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial lesson